First question, looks like you're looking, are you okay? I'm good, I uh, just out of shape. I got some cramps in the second half. Uh, Frost joked that he told you you were gonna get 200 yards today rushing, you didn't believe him. He blames himself for you not being in good enough shape to get that. How'd you feel tonight running in it? How did it feel just feel to move like that and have so many open plays? Oh, it felt good. Um, you know, credit for the guys up front and the guys outside. They made some really key blocks for me to, you know, just get some yards. But yeah, I mean, Coach Ross was joking all week. Um, you know, he thought I'd get 200 yards, and I just kind of was like, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's mostly on me. I should have just been running. I, actually, after practice, I mean, <clears throat> you know, it's been a while since I was really running like that. You know, it's been like a couple months, so um, that's totally on me. And um, you know, I have six months to get back in shape. Marcus, um, can you talk about Josh Huff today and then overall, and um, how much you're gonna miss him next year? Oh, he's, I mean, he's been like a brother to me since, you know, since I've gotten here. Uh, he means a lot to me, and, you know, I wish him the best in his future endeavors, and <clears throat> I felt he had a really good game in his, his final game, and um, he really stepped up as a leader today, and was really just pushing us to just finish drives and just to go out there and, and do it for each other. And um, like I said, he's, he's like a brother to me. I love him, and I wish him the best. Marcus, you and the team walked over from the hotel through the fan zone. What were the emotions like during that trip? <clears throat> that was a, a, a pretty cool experience, to be honest with you. Um, you know, just getting, getting the feel of, uh, you know, we kind of talked about it like a gladiator feel where, you know, you're kind of walking in there and, you know, you're kind of you against the, the world. And, um, you know, you had Texas fans and, you know, there's a majority of Texas fans, so it was a little tough. But, I mean, just to walk through there, you kinda, it kind of set you up mentally for this game. And, um, you know, I, I thought it was a pretty cool experience. <clears throat> Mark is back here. You told us you were healthier and you looked healthier in the Civil War and then you know you said you were been feeling better since then. Did you feel like it was possible in this game, given your health and being able to run again, that you guys could return to somewhat of midseason form as an offense? Um, yeah, I feel that, you know, just having that dimension where I'm able to kind of run uh, really just helps our offense. Um, but at the same time, you know, just things happen in November, um, and that's, you know, it's the way the ball bounces sometimes. And um, as an offense, I thought we finished the season off well. You know, we could have finished a lot more drives towards the end of the game. I mean, finished a lot of drives throughout the game, but, um, I mean, really I'm proud of those guys. We've, we've come a long way, and i um, really looking forward to next year. Marcus, you, uh, you mentioned when we talked to you in the lead up that you felt healthy and you were totally confident in your knee. When you finally got out there and had to pull down and, and run for the first time, um, what, what was that like for you mentally? Was it, were you totally comfortable and, and did the instincts just take over or did you have to kind of force yourself to, to run? Yeah, you said it best. I mean, my, my instincts just kind of took over. Um, you know, I had no doubt in my mind that, you know, I felt comfortable with my knee. and. Um, I just wanted to go out there and play um, and just instinctively play and um, you know I was able to do that today. Marcus, what were you seeing on those on the, in the back? Marcus, what were you seeing on those read options because you looked like you were pretty comfortable just pulling the ball and keeping it yourself. So what were you seeing on the plays? What was Texas doing? Um, Texas was just taking away the running back. Um, they're just giving me the opportunity to pull it and, um, and then, like I said earlier, you know the guys outside, you know Josh and Braylon and you know just those guys, Keenan, I mean, those guys did a great job of just blocking outside and allowing me to, you know, get as many yards as I could. Mark is back here in the back. Can you talk about the disparity between how you played in the Stanford game as to how you played tonight, just overall performance-wise? Um, you know, I, I feel that, you know, I played better, uh, obviously, this game. Um, you know, I felt comfortable, and, um, you know, I just had a lot of confidence through our preparation. I'm um, not saying that, you know, for the Stanford game I wasn't prepared, but at the same time, um, you know, there's some things that were bothering me and, um, you know, it's just the way it happens sometimes. And you just got to play those seasons and you got to play through injuries and, um, you know, I just kind of learned a lot about myself throughout there. Well, well, I mean, how much better did you, did you play tonight? I mean, were you maybe at 25% of that game? Were you 100% tonight? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't say I was close to 100%, but I was pretty as much as I could. Um, compared to Stanford, um, you know, I'm not going to use it as an excuse, but, you know, it was, it was a tough week to really just get prepared for it. Um, but, yeah, I felt a lot better this game. Marcus, on this side, at the end of the game, you kind of seemed to have a little conversation with Mac Brown. Can you talk about what he said to you? 
Um, I mean, the, the man is a very classy person, and uh, he just came up to me and he, he said good game, and he just wished me the best. And uh, you know, it meant a lot for you know someone of his stature to come in and just kind of talk to me about that. And um, you know, like I, I I wish him the best. I told him you know enjoy it, and um, you know really it really meant a lot. Yeah, Marcus, a 37, 30 to seven win, two defensive touchdowns, one offensive touchdown, three field goals. A lot of that trouble was in the red zone. Can, is there was there one theme there uh, about inside the red zone? I think Frost alluded to it. Hey, we got to run the ball better with running backs. I think um, you know. I think we kind of just hurt ourselves. Uh, penalties really were kind of the big thing in the in the uh, red zone. I mean, we had a holding call and then uh, a couple of false starts that just you know it kind of puts you back and um, you know puts you behind the eight ball in the sense of down and distance. So. Um, you know, that's that's always tough, but, you know, three points to skip points is always good, especially in these types of games where, you know, Texas defense is really just playing hard and playing well. So, um, you know, I think no matter what, you know, we're going to come back and look at the film and obviously we want to finish drive better, but, you know, we're still ready to get some points. <clears throat> Marcus, back here. <clears throat> Looking forward, your first 20 starts, you guys scored about 50 points a game. The last five games, offensively, we scored roughly 120, 125 points. You only scored 16 on offense tonight. What does this offense need to do, need to, do to get back to the form it was in your first 20 starts? Um, I think just finish drives. You know, we, we move the ball all the way down there, and um, we just tend to kick field goals. And you know, we can't let, we can't leave points up on the board like that. And um, you know, that's that comes from me. That comes from you know just making some throws, some key throws. I mean, I was a little behind on Braylon on one of those, and the D was able to break it up. And, um, you know, it's different things like that, uh, but at the same time, you know, we have an off season to kind of prepare for that kind of stuff, and um, you know, just continue to, to push finishing, and um, you know, we'll, we'll get it done. Marcus, <clears throat> what was said when you went over and hugged Tyler when he's laying Tyler Johnston on the back? He's injured. What was said there, and then when Everett comes in, what did anything change about the offensive line and the way playing Everett there? You know, I just told Tyler, uh, you know, that I love them, and you know, I hope everything's okay. Um, you know, it was unfortunate what happened, uh, but you know, I just want to keep his head up and you know, we we'll just finish this game off for him. And um, you know, we have all the confidence in, in uh, Everett, and you know, he went out there and played well. And um, you know, especially huge for him because he was a senior. This is his last game, and um, you know, it's the credit to all those guys. I mean, they all were prepared, and you know, Coach Coach Hopkins always talks about the next the next man up, and um, you know, Everett really just kind of exemplified that tonight. Your final question. Marcus, I know you haven't had a ton of time to reflect, but what do you think you'll remember about this season? How do you describe it? Um, you know, I was kind of talking a little bit to Coach Frost, uh, and I think the biggest thing was that, you know, through adversity, we were still able to kind of pull through and, you know, get 11 wins. And, you know, that's that's hard to do in, <clears throat> in today's day and age. And, you know, 11 wins says a lot about, you know, where we've come as a program. And, you know, it says a lot when people look around and, you know, they think it's a disappointing season. And, um, you know, to, to us, 11 wins, I mean, that, that doesn't happen very often. And, you know, it was just to come back out here and to finish the whole game strong um, really sets us up for the future. You know, builds a solid foundation for next year. And, um, you know, like I said, we're looking forward to it.